Hi students, uh, welcome back. Uh, another uh, series. So like, you know, automatic storage location determination in SAP S4 HANA 2020. And this is again a classical interview question. So, uh, so this is a famous question. Sometimes I also ask in my interview board. So let's try to understand this. This is specifically useful for uh, MM consultants and uh, SD consultants. Let's try to have a look around that. I don't think that uh, there is no change. Okay. It is uh, similar like, you know, how you are doing in ECC. So this is the path and I will try to give some explanation around it. Okay. So when it comes to, let's try to determine the automatic storage location. This is the path. First, let me create a sales order. Okay. So... Okay. Okay. I have given wrong this one division. Okay. Let's take uh, any one of the customer. No issues. Uh, let me take this one. Test auto STLOC. Okay. So I'm just giving this material. So I'm just taking one carton. Okay, no issues. Let's try to save this. We have created a sales order. Now we can able to do automatic picking and automatic, uh, what I would say, packing and automatic storage location determination. Okay. I would like to tell you what is the tricky question on your sales order relevant to storage location determination. If someone asks, okay, like, uh, can you able to determine storage location automatically and where and how? Suppose if this is the question, then if you have knowledge and practice, you can tell that storage location, we can able to determine in standard at the delivery level, but we cannot able to deliver the storage location in sales order level. Okay. So watch what we have to do. There is one user exit available for this. Okay. Uh, so by using a user exit underscore source underscore determination, okay, that is the classical way and it, there are different parameters for the solution. Don't worry about that. Try to understand the standard better. So now if you go to the shipping, okay, you can see this, the storage location, you have to select it manually if you want it. Okay. So let's go for this. It is uh, not going to happen automatically in sales order level. So now see this, I can able to select it manually. Okay. So otherwise in standard, it won't, we don't have any parameter to select this storage location automatically. Okay. So they will ask a tricky question. Sometimes they might ask that this is one of the certification uh, uh, relevant question also. Probably I feel that, you know, because it has some tricky to understand for beginners. So let's go to the, this one. Okay. Delivery. So let me try to choose some date somewhere around 19th. Let's pick it. Okay. Now, if you see this, this is the picking part <coughs> where actually you can able to determine your storage location automatically. Now it is not determining automatically, right? Let's try to do the relevant configuration for this. Okay. What exactly we have the dependent configurations for this. So this is also questions where uh, like uh, you have to tick mark if the storage location need to be determined. Okay. The first thing you go to this item category level. Okay. So it should be like, you know, relevant picking and storage location required. These are the two ticks. It should be there. Okay. For your delivery item category, it's not sales item category. You can able to identify with, you know, your document item category. And uh, let me try to show you. So this is the tick mark should be required. So this is standard I'm showing. If you copy any item category also, it should be relevant for picking. If these two settings are not there, it will not work for you. Let's try to check now. SPRO. Okay. Reference IMG. So let's try to come here. So I think those settings you can able to do it. Uh, that is available in logistics ex execution level. Uh, probably let me try to help you out. So let's come to the shipping actually. Okay. So straight away, 
come to picking okay don't go to deliveries this is header actually come to the picking so in the define relevant for item categories first thing i told you right so i will show you the path okay so tan should be tick mark here so otherwise whatever the item category you would like to take it why it is relevant why it is not relevant okay you just try to understand this is how you try to uh, you know uh, learn the subject instead of blindly doing that first you do blindly no problem then try to get onto that slowly the flower because i have a decade plus then uh, this is a different story so define rules for picking storage location determination assign picking location let's come here okay so rules also will be there okay so it, it depends on your rules for example we'll have one more discussion on this what exactly these rules mala mara mare will be there so if you come here so assign picking location you click here i'm straight away to the point so you see this someone has done you know automatic storage location let's come here so mine is uh, drs1 is the shipping point drp1 is the plant okay see this is optional this is going to control like you know it is going to bifurcate your materials what kind of storage location i need to choose it for example if it is sensitive material glass material so then you will have a different storage location you cannot keep like you know uh, your woods and glass at one place right i'm just giving one example so in the similar way especially why it is useful for example your your company is sending petrol or something like a new tanker uh, to petrol bunk such a case your conditions will be different actually if it is normal crude oil it is new. petrol has that uh, temperature conditions and sensitivity will be there it will be blasted so so like you know such kind of materials uh, you will do okay storage condition you will define see standard they didn't give you can able to define high temperature or something like that based on that you separately you can able to determine with additional parameter it is bifurcate for example you have five storage location one is for sensitive materials and second one is for uh, what i would say uh, like uh, your uh, gases and fuels so another one is for wood would how you take what it matters but if you take a uh, gas and fuels then obviously it should be in a position to uh, take them um, uh, you know with a special precaution in such a case this is the differentiation so i'm not giving this one so let's try to give the my storage location what we have seen so let's come here so probably you know so this is a storage location so these are the different things okay so let's save this let's try to check how the system behaves now so this is very very important your shipping point and plant okay the plant where you are delivering the goods and uh, from where uh, you would like to the departure point and then the shipping point will talks about you know this is the place is the key for your delivery how to where to load where to pick and uh, which storage location how to load it no what is the uh, transportation activities need to be taken care you know this is very very key how we have in finance company code for logistics execution module your plant and shipping point are the key parameters don't neglect these two if you if you would like to see your future in logistics execution okay so sale it's easy again don't worry uh, we can play with this so let's try to create a sales order now we have saved this one i think i have saved so i think existing delivery we can use it let me try it's a bit slow so i do one thing let me try to refresh the screen so for previous order let's try to check actually so let's click enter so now you see this automatically storage location is coming okay this is for only automatic storage location the similar way we can able to do automatic picking also with standard report actually so let's do the post goods issue okay stock will be reduced so automatically it is coming right uh so let's say your invoice so it's this is how we can able to finish the this thing let me try to show you it will work for you with fresh order also one more time 
So maybe like I can take five. So I'll just try to take another material with another five. Okay. So base is missing conditions. Okay. Let me try to save this order. Just wanted to show you a difference. If you take if you take n number of materials, it will work for you. That's the key. You can see this automatically storage location is coming. Okay. This is how we have to do it. I'll tell you the difference actually. If you go to MM02, take this material. If you would like to check with, you can take this one as homework and you can try on your own. I can show you just like that. It's on my fingers, don't worry. So, so let me try to come. Plant material status, automatic PO. Okay, let's come here. So you can see this is the parameter. This is how the difference actually. Last one here, I'm not working on logistics, but uh, see, I have experience, I can handle this. So, but uh, live, I'm showing you this one. See, this is the place where you can able to define your storage conditions. If you'd like to differentiate, for example, sale one, sale I've created. So probably like an SAL one, SAL two is for, you know, temperature condition based on that you would like to determine. Then you take the key combinations. You just try to work on this. You try this. Probably if you don't know, I'll try to add one more video. Please uh, subscribe my channel if you are not yet subscribed. So probably, you know, I'll try to add more useful videos for you. If you are beginner or experienced, it doesn't matter for me. Okay. So I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Uh, I have an update. So... Uh, uh, currently, this is the site. Actually, you know, if you would like to uh, subscribe any courses at my end, okay, I'll try to show you. So, probably you can type Jagdish K W O M A R. I just given a different name because I'm professional, right? So, you can see this is the course available. So, 76 hours, uh, okay, you just type it, you'll get the courses. This is one of the popular course. Uh, recently, I have done SAP, SD, ECC, S4, HANA, Advanced, actually. This is the course, actually, 8 hours on your pricing basics. And this is advanced level. I have this courses continuously keep on updated, will be updated. That's for sure. So you can able to uh, get into that. This is a stock transfer order. I have done S4, HANA, 2020. So getting a master to write a functional specification, this is very, very important for beginners who is not at introduced to industry. Okay. So don't trouble yourself. Learn this course. So feel that, you know, you are in real time. Try to do some practice. It It is giving guide. It is giving, you know, it is giving guidance how to write a functional specification as well as how to pull the logic actually. So stock transfer order and intercompany sales if you have, if you are from MM and uh, uh, like, you know, SD backgrounds, ST was, if you have doubt, you can go through it and intercompany sales. This is at ECC level. And uh, I have given, this is the new course actually. See, you are seeing new, right? Live recording. So, so many errors are there in this. Don't worry. I resolved only one error left. That's okay. So probably like, you know, there is a mirror. So you can learn this concept in an S4 HANA okay so it happened uh, at a posting level actually for this course actually i'll get back to you in future if i find um, anything so sap s4 hana simple logistic this is for end users this is for rebates and if you are not attend to use it you can try this but it is not required actually in youtube also i have given uh, 
one video and you can see s4 hana simple logistics and uh, business partner concepts if you are not yet introduced to s4 better try this course i have given three valuable scenarios and sd business process and cross module integration s4 hana fscm sd credit management concepts this is for useful for fsco guys because our settings got moved to your place uh, the sub module called uh, financial supply chain credit management probably it will give some depth because i have shown the how we have the billing blocks at uh, delivery level sales order level and you know your pc level so previously it was with us all settings but one wherever the settings we need to be done so sg consultants also it is required you need to close the work with your fa folks okay don't live in fears learning will uh, come come out of that okay sap s4 hana intercompany sales and you no know, these are all the courses so what you have to do it if you know this name okay that is sufficient to get back to learn so that's all for today thank you very much i wish you all the best love your subject love india jai hind